Right, good morning all. Um, I want to show you something that I was started last night. Um, I decided to do, you know, let me just show you the egg. This is the egg that um, I found. And um, I found it at the car boot when I was at Bridlington. And I, I just thought I'd love to do one like that. And then I remembered I had the paper mache eggs. And so what I've done, <laughs> it's not finished. I'm going to finish it while I'm here. But I did do this one. Now, I'm not sure whether I've got it right or not. Because I don't know. I'm not sure about this. Um, it, I started off as something, as you know what I'm like. And then I decided to do something different. Um, and I'm not sure... I, I should, I think, have taken this middle section out and just had that on that. I don't know. Um, it just doesn't... It's not right, but I will put it right. But for now, let's tell you, let's talk about the egg, because I've not quite finished it, and I do have the inside to do as well. I mean, I, this is painted with the uh, colour that I wanted, and I used the uh, Dirndac colour wash, which is the Espresso. I've used that throughout, um, but I'll talk you through the egg now. I'll talk you through it from top to bottom. What I did, I took one of the eggs. I haven't touched the bottom. All I've done is coloured that. But the top section, I'm not sure if you can see. See the mesh? Um, I'll just show you that. It's quite a... It's fine and soft, so it's flexible to move. But I use that mesh. See? But it's not too fine. So it gives a texture. Um, and all I did, I just cut a piece out. Uh, glued that on. And then I painted the egg in. Uh, this one, let me get it out. I painted the egg in the folk art paint, which was the Butter Pecan. That's that one. And then, of course, I changed my mind and used the Espresso. <laughs> but it does have a coat of that underneath. Once I glued all that on, which actually, because it glued on straight here, but then it, like, puckered here because it, it was, you know, you've got a shape. It's not square, so it doesn't lay flat. And what I've done is I've sliced it. Uh, what I did was I glued this on first, so glued all of it on the top, glued this on as far as I could until you ended up with a pleat. So you get a pleat. So I'll just show you what I mean. You put all that on and you glue it on, and because it's round, it will, you know, pleat there, look, for that piece to fit. So what I did was I pulled that together, cut it off, and then just glued that on. So And then it made it nice and neat, like that. Uh, I then added some trim, which was just some braid. This was a, a light brown braid. Um, I did put one of these, see the little doily? I did glue one of the doilies on the top there. Um, I added a string pearl, which was cream. And then I added these tiny roses around there. Um, and then I added, <laughs> would you believe it, a ping pong ball. I cut the ping pong ball to sh fit the shape of the egg because I wanted it built out here. So this is a ping pong ball underneath. And what I did, I just cut that, sat the egg in, glued it in. I just glued it with a hot glue gun. I'll show you that. Right, right, see, it's a ping pong ball. Let me get that bit of glue out. I've got to put something else on here yet. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put my glue gun on because I need to get that done as well. I'm going to have some bling on it. Um, and then what I did, I put the rough roses around there. This is going to be covered because I'm going to put a piece of bling here. Um, coloured those and all the egg. Well, I coloured it all after I glued it all together and painted it. I did some string pearl, what I did at the top here. Um, I actually wrapped it round there. Um, and then I sat this, uh, this bit here is one of these, it was that, so that was that big and I cut it in half and that sat in there. Um, added the uh, flowers around there, but then I sat it on um, a spool. 
And this is where my problem is, because I'm not sure if I should have done it on a stand like that. I, I don't know. I, I somehow feel it needed something that came out. So I may take this. I don't know. I mean, it's nice like that, and it can be used for sure. But like I say, once it was all glued together, I then painted it all. I've still got to finish it off. I've not finished yet. Um, and because I've used the Mod Podge glue, it's given it like a sheen. And what I'm going to do now, I think, is enhance the flowers and the trim. It may work, it may not. Let's have a go. Um, now, do I do it with that or not? Or do I do it with this? Let me just have a go at this, because I'm not sure if it's going to work. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just have a go. I'm just putting a little bit of the gold. I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm terrible, me, when, I, when it's coming to doing something like this. When it comes to doing something like this. Because <laughs> I just... I can never make my mind up. But things are trial and error. Everything you do is trial and error. This isn't... <laughs> working very well. Yes, I like that. Yeah, it's coming on. The more I do it, the better I like it. My, uh, I've no water with me, but it's drying up <laughs> slightly, so I have to be careful. Yeah, I do like it. It's coming on. <laughs> I just wanted it to stand out a bit more. Yeah, that's doing it. That's it. So, I also want to do... I could be making a really big mistake here. I just want to... Just to... Oh, no, I do like that. It, you can see the pattern in it now. Oh, yeah. Come on, Fee, just go for it. You know what you like. <laughs> Maybe I should have done it before I put the trimming on, but... I hadn't finished doing the colouring... I don't want to do too much. Yes, I do like that. <laughs> yeah, it's brought out the, the egg. I don't want to do it on the base, I just wanted to do it on the top there. <laughs> And then maybe, maybe, yes, just to highlight the, oh yes, it's, it's coming together. Just to highlight the flowers a little bit. Oops. Clumped up with anything. Just give it. Just because it's drying a little bit, I don't want that to happen. I'm going to wipe my finger. Maybe that will do a bit better. And I'm going to put some, let's clear that off of any rubbish. Yes, I like that. Much better. Yeah. I 
just to make it stand out more. Oops a daisy, I've knocked a flower off. That was my fault, sorry. Ah, because I coloured it afterwards. That's all, it's going back in. In place there. There you go. And then all I have to do is uh, do the same with the flowers. I'm still not happy about this, but, you know, what more can I do? I've rigged it all up. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I'm just slightly putting a little bit of colour of gold on the rosettes. A little bit of colour around the rim of that. And then a little bit of colour on those roses. I just, I might put a bit of lace on this ledge to bring it out slightly there. I think that will look better, so I'll have a look at doing that in a minute. Let me just see. I just think it needs a kind of a skirt putting on it. I don't know why. I mean, it's it's nice. Let me just see if I can highlight the doily a little bit as well. Or just in the centre, see like that. Don't want to do too much to it. Right, I'm gonna just find a piece of lace or trim or something. I, I just feel it needs something. Now it's not gathered, so I may have to gather it. I mean, I will colour it, don't worry about that. Let me have a look. No, it's... It, it needs... Just a minute. Not right. Let me just see what I've got. Now, here's a piece. I'm wondering if this will... This will colour up. In fact, this will probably be perfect. Yeah, you see, it's something like that, like a little skirt bit I'm after, just to, I probably could, oops, come here, egg. I could probably do it round there as well. I'm not sure, and it'll have to be coloured. Let me just feed you really want it. <laughs> right, let me see. This is the back of the egg. Yes, I do want to do that. And I will colour this, so don't worry about that. That will get coloured. I've still not found my charger for it, my uh, connector for my new glue guns. I will do. I'm just doing a little bit at a time. I'm pinching it, even though it's gathered, I'm pinching it to put a bit more of a skirt on it.
That's better. It, put, it brings it out like a little skirt. I'm just going to chop that. <clears throat> that's better. Look, it just, oh, that's lovely. I like that anyway. Let me just see. I need to make sure it pulls up properly. Pull the skirt out as it should be. See, like that. And it, I'm going to colour that. I won't leave it like it is. Maybe I will. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then, like I say, we've just got the. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. Maybe I should have done it around there first and then put the braid on. Oh. I mean, I could do it and put the braid back on. I've got enough. Yeah, I might do that, actually. Put it over the braid. And then do the braid again. Yeah, it's just... I mean, it's all trial and error, so it's just mistakes that we make. So I'm going to do that, and I will put braid back over that. Thankfully, I've got enough of this ribbon. But if you've got one of these paper mache eggs, oh, this was one of those, like a chipboard one, it wasn't really paper mache. Um, you know, use them. Just design yourself an egg. I haven't finished, I've got a lot of, well, I might put a lot of bling on this yet, so... Take that off. Might be easier to handle. Hopefully, I've got enough time to do this. I mean, I can do it in two parts. I'm not fussed. Yeah, shame to hide that, uh, you know, to cover that up. But it, it's actually it's helping the skirt to stick out more, so great. I'm not bothered about that, and I can just put a fresh piece on. Just giving it a little nick there and here and there to uh, pinch it together and put that little bit extra gather in it. Just enough, look at that. Just see how much I'm going to need. No more than that. And then all I'm going to do is just to help this stick. Give it a little bit there and pop that on. It just holds them two pieces together. It's uh, nothing there like that. Look. So it's got the, that makes such a difference. I mean, hey, actually, ladies, make yourself a dish. 
just think what you can do get yourself some reels and look at that you could use that like a dish look at it and put your little trimmings in ha ha see half a circle buy those you know those plastic balls uh, that kids have in them little tent things get those cut them in half use your ping pong balls use your reels look toilet rolls even you know you cut them make yourself your own dish that's an idea i like that without the egg <laughs> without putting the egg piece on but we're going to pop the egg back on and um And I'm going to colour the lace. I think. Yeah. I can colour the lace. I don't know how to colour the lace now. So I actually like that. Oops a daisy. Let me get some bling and see what we can put on for bling. <coughs> Now, I've got, oh, do you know what I have got? Actually, I can match them tails up. Oops, a daisy. First of all, I've got some of these large flatback pearls in, like, the champagne colour. Make sure I've got all the same colour. Now, let me just see. Now, I want a central piece there. And it needs something like a cameo. So, let me, I don't know what I've got. I might have something in here. If not, I'm going to have to raid my other box. I like that though. No, just a minute, I'm going to have to raid my other box, I think. Right, let's just raid my other box. Right, I'm going to come back and finish the decoration. I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye-bye for now.